Atlanta GA weighing in at 241 pounds. Here is the popular Thunderbolt Patterson. His opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, also at 238 pounds. Here is Jack Poor. Jack Poor. Thunderbolt Patterson, very controversial. Man that speaks his own mind. And a young fellow that can flat take care of himself on that mat. Nice takedown. Poor already confused by the, the quickness of the attack of, of Patterson, who, as you see, seems to have a... Oh, nice move. He's back himself out. Pulled himself out of there. Poor completely disconcerted. You see that sort of mocking smile on the face of Thunderbolt Patterson. That's driven on many, many opponents nearly out of their mind. Well, for a couple of weeks, we've been talking about the popularity of Thunderbolt Patterson. I think the crowd proved it tonight that uh, he is has been popular, he still is popular, and he will be for many, many years. He sure will be, and what's the fact? He is a tough that boy can glad to take care of himself on the mat. Like I said, he can work tough, strong, and he'll fight you any way you gotta fight. But he gets some wild little moves that he makes to drive his opponents crazy, and it works. I've been watching Thunderbolt for many, many years, but Don, he looks to me like he's in the best shape I've ever seen. That was my comment on that, too. And he said that he has just lived right, done what he knew was right, and the results have been that he looked a tremendous condition. Pointed out something he said that he he right, took care of himself and didn't worry about what the rest of the world thought. All he was concerned with was he was going to be in prime shape when he got back into wrestling, and he certainly is. He's quick. And he's very proud to be wrestling with Sunbelt Wrestling. I talked to him off camera and uh, the remarks that he's made and about the young men that are coming up into wrestling now through Sunbelt. He thinks it's absolutely fantastic. Well, we're, we're thrilled that he feels that way about it. We're thrilled to have him. So, oh, nice move. Make that quick, that great quickness. Shoot it in behind four. Took his man down, tying him up, moving around. <laughs> Jack Poor says, I'm getting out of here. This guy's just too much. I think I'll get out, take a break, and then rest him. Get my bearings again. Thunderbolt Patterson is everything Jack Poor was afraid he was going to be. I'm, I'm certain. Now Poor's trying to break things up a little bit, but the people are just starting to lay it on him with those neat little shots with those knuckles, the karate knuckles, and he hits hard and sharp with those karate guys. I love that heel walk that Thunderbolt has, walking on those heels and counting in. But his best phenomenal looking man up, that's a big man, he looks at him easily. And he falls over into the pin, and the winner. As Thunderbolt. It's my most distinct pleasure to have as my guest on Personality Profile today, one of the finest kind. This is a great wrestler and a great guy, Thunderbolt Patterson. Welcome to Sunbelt Wrestling. Well, thank you very much, John. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long time since I've been here in Florida, and but the purpose, the reason that I'm here this time makes it so beautiful. Well, I know what you mean, and then, of course, we, we have been looking forward to him being with us, and uh, and he's got a lot of stories to tell, and I'm not going to occupy any more of the time. One thing I want to comment on, you are in fabulous condition. It's obvious that you have long-range range plans, and that uh, kind of condition you'll get today. Yeah, well, uh, thank you very much. You know, uh, a few years back, I uh, stopped wrestling for a while, but I made up in my mind that I would not let nothing or nobody or no system pull me down. I put my trust in God, and I turn it over to Him. And once you get your body, your mind, and your spirit all together, then you're at peace with yourself. And, you know, I just want to show everybody how I've been denied for so many years, but I kept on working out, eating right, and they can do the same thing. Everybody has the opportunity and the chance, and this is what the Sun Belt, and I'm representing IWL, and we need to know that... Uh, the best wrestlers in the world are forming together now, fighting all of the wrong causes in professional wrestling. And I, I, want, I want your hand, man. 
because I appreciate what you stand for and what's going on here, and I am proud to be a part of it. And I thank God for men like you that I'm so full, man. You know, it, it is a heavy stroke. I'm just, all I want to do is get in the circle and do what, you know, they taught me for 16 years how to do. Yeah, it's the most interesting <laughs> thing, and it, it's true. It's the guy's in great shape. He has been really working at it. He has been a, an extremely controversial figure in wrestling, and one of the reasons for it is he's very independent. You can hear the way the man talks. He sincerely means what he's saying, and we are trying to do something different. We're trying to create something in wrestling that we believe in, and, and you have been, you've been doing this for years. That's true. Uh, it's been uh, seven years to be exact, you know, uh, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I have my golden opportunity, a dream of, you know, Don, I remember a long time ago, uh, sitting down in Tampa, Florida one time, uh, they were talking about why a wrestler become a wrestler. And I think everyone uh, uh, starts wrestling because they want to become the best, the world champion. And I've been denied so many years. So I, I'm so glad that the wrestling profession has produced some people. Now, I'm not saying all people, because there's some that, my God. <laughs> but anyway, we are here with the Sun Belt, and the IWA, I, excuse me, IWL, uh, gave me the authority to give you all the support. And what you're doing, people, call somebody. Tell somebody that there's a whole new day. And wrestling is going to be upgraded to, hey, I want to show them what's on my mind. <laughs> well, you certainly have done that all, all of the years when you people have been around. And, of course, this is something we're all excited about. You do have this title shot that's coming up in the near future. And, of course, uh, they, some of the great champions of the, of the past have dodged you, and, and justifiably so. That's true. You know, uh, I, I hate to, you know, get into that because this is a whole new day, and uh, this, is, this is a country of, in God we trust, an equal opportunity for everybody. And uh, as you know, over the years, I have been dodged you know, of a lot of different things. But that's all in the past now. With the Sun Belt and IWL and more places, you know, I mean, doing the right thing, giving everybody the opportunity, the wrestlers, I mean, that's what counts. You know, it's, nobody don't have no kind of nothing. But now, thank God for the people like you and other people in other parts of the country, Wrestling will be number one again. Well, that's true. We are working at it. We're training young men, and of course, uh, people like you, Thunderbolt, have been an inspiration to young people in the past. And I know that right now, that very same thing is, is going through the minds of many. Here's a guy who came up the hard way, and he's got these big opportunities. He's going places, and uh, we certainly are going to encourage every way we can. And I want to thank you very much again, and shake your hand again for being with us today on Personality Profile. And we're looking forward to seeing you in the match in the ring real soon. Our final match for this TV presentation. Introducing the gentleman just entering the ring. And to my right now from Tampa, Florida. And at 218 pounds, here is the popular Alberto Perez. Alberto Perez. The gentleman that I just talked to from Russia. Here is the great Malenko. Well, this is the one, this is the match that we thought we were going to see last week, that we signed up for, but uh, unfortunately, Malenko at the last minute decided he wasn't going to have anything to do with it, but tonight, he's going to have to face the very spectacular Alberto Perez. And Perez moves in immediately, takes his opponent down with a headlock and takes control. I think that uh, Mr. Malenko is going to really learn some interesting wrestling lessons tonight. We talk about Malenko's great knowledge, and here's a young man, Albert, uh, Alberto Perez, who has come a long ways in a hurry with great natural skill. He's keeping the man under control, Tom. He's not letting Malenko get anything started. And Malenko powers out, powers out with the wrist lock. This is the match we thought that we would see last week, wasn't it? And Malenko didn't want to rest there, Alberto. Right. And he moves to the ropes now to try to get out of it. There's the old uh, war brain going to work, exactly. getting those ropes. He thought on earlier that Perez is not going to put up with an awful lot, but Perez is moving well. Nice! 
turn it in. Back in behind, controlling that arm. I doubt very seriously. There's many men in the ring today stronger than Alberto Perez. He, he is uh, he's a he's powerhouse. He's, right. he's very powerful. He's very, very quick and he's very knowledgeable. But all these, this combination, he's got a tremendous future. And the thrill that we've had an opportunity to be a part of his, his early wrestling career. But Malenko, with a head and arm, pull over. Now he's got Perez down to the mat. Perez immediately moving to his belly down position. Spins under again and takes that arm. Neat move underneath he's got with that spin under. Twice he's taken over and got himself out of strikes. Moved in control. Now he reaches through with the wrist lock. I would like to mention this for the people that did not see last week's show. Uh, in closing, I referred to the fact that it should have been well called the uh, Great Flamenco program because he was in and out quite a bit. Well, he was very concerned because things were happening at uh, whatever the, the true story is. Uh, he was in and out of things trying to figure out exactly who he was going to wrestle. And of course, he realized, he realized just how how tough this man is, and he did, wasn't real eager to have a sudden change in his plans. And a smart wrestler does not like to play the other man's game. If you see a sudden change in your game plan, you better sit back a little bit and figure out exactly if that's the way you want to go. And uh, Malenko's no fool. He's not going to get caught in the trap. Well, I don't think that Alberto thinks that the uh, Tiger will change his spot just about an answer. Exactly. And I'll tell you something. Perez is very, very smart. Oh, good one. Good lift by Malenko. The Perez was up to it. He came out from underneath it. Push. Caught again. Now Malenko drops Perez across his knee. Got the covers but Perez fights out from under. Perez, Perez is a fighter. He will fight it all away. He's hurting now. Malenko misses with that elbow. Now Perez thinking, oh, he's banging him against that the turnbuckle. I was surprised that Malenko went in as high with that move. He went in carelessly and he got caught for it. Flying there by Perez. Malenko drops it, drives Malenko out onto the floor. It dazed Malenko. Coming to the ring apron, trying to get himself under control. Climbing up through the rope. Perez steps right over, drives him off again. That's not giving him a chance to get in and get set. Perez realizes he has an advantage, and he catches him across the face. Malenko for the chain, he's got the chain that he brought in here to a demonstration, and now he's cut him across the neck of it. Him. him again, whipping him with it, coming around the neck. This is Perez around a throat with it, the referee moves over trying to stop it. This comes off an idol. Off an idol, Malenko wants nothing to do with him. Idol takes the chain, Malenko moves out of the way. No desire to face Austin Idol, especially when he's carrying that chain. Malenko may be the expert with the chain, Tommy, but Austin Idol has got the chain, and he can certainly put things under his control. People cannot see Malenko, but right now he has a steel chair in his hand. So uh, he and Idol are out there uh, uh, giving, well, you can hear it in the background. Malenko has just departed, and on a disqualification, Alberto Perez, your winner.